If you are building an N8N AI agent and want to give it access to a knowledge base, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you the way that we have done it for over 50 different projects, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and add documents to your knowledge base. So looking at the screen right here, we have a simple AI agent build, and what we're going to be using to actually set up the knowledge base is Quadrant. Now, Quadrant is a vector database tool, and it allows you to do this at scale. The good news is you can start completely for free for your first collection. And if you go ahead and Google Quadrant Startup Program, there's actually a Quadrant Startup Program that gives you 20% off all of your invoices. So as soon as you do start paying, go ahead and apply for this. Now this N8N flow, which you see on the screen is gonna be available for free down below in our free community at school.com slash Omnifusion. However, I'm just gonna walk you through it very quickly. We have a simple AI agent right here with OpenAI connected, window buffer memory, and the Quadrant Vector Store. In order to set this up, all we need to do is go to quadrant.tech click on get started or log in if you already have an account. And once you're inside the clusters page, simply go ahead and click on create. Now, if you just signed up, you're gonna be able to select the free tier to actually try this out. And once you do go to the paid tier, it's about $29 per month and you can get the 20% startup credits on top. Simply scroll down and go ahead and name this. So I'm gonna name it N8N tutorial, which is gonna be the name of this cluster. And we're gonna go ahead and click on create. Now that we've created the cluster, it's successfully creating. This usually takes about two minutes to actually get set up. And we're going to need to create an API key to connect it to Quadrant. For this, we're simply going to click on Create API Key. We are going to call it N8N Tutorial. And we're going to leave everything else at the default and simply click Create. We now have an API key right here. You need to copy this and make sure to save it because you will need this down the line. Once you've copied that, let's go back to NA10, select the Quadrant Vector Store node, and here we're going to need to set up a new credential. For this, simply click the drop down, click on Create New Credential. Here you're going to enter your API key. You can name the account as you wish, so I'm going to do NA10 Tutorial. And we're now going to need the Quadrant URL. For this, we're simply going to go back and we're going to copy the endpoint right here. We're going to paste that in, click on Save. And as you can see, the connection has been tested successfully, which means we did everything right. We're now gonna close out of this window. We're gonna have the operation mode as retrieve documents. I'm gonna call it knowledge, and I'm gonna have a simple description in here for the AI agent to know when to use it. For the quadrant collection, we're gonna come back to this later, and we're gonna select the correct collection for it. The limit is the chunk limit, how many chunks you wanna retrieve from the vector store. We're gonna leave it at four, but anything between two to four, depending on your project, will make sense. Now that we've done that part, we're gonna divert our attention to this lower part right here, where we're gonna actually add information into the vector store. Now this edit fields node right here is the content that we're gonna be adding into our knowledge base. As you can see, it's a simple question answer format, and we're gonna be upserting this into the knowledge base, and I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second. We then have the quadrant vector store node where we're gonna use the same credentials that we just set up with the operation mode insert documents. We're gonna to need to specify our collection in a second, but in order to do that, we need to go back to Quadrant and actually set that up. Apart from that, inside of N8N, you simply have embeddings with your OpenAI credentials and a default data loader, along with a character text splitter, which you can leave at the default settings. Now, going back into Quadrant, we're gonna go ahead and click on Open Dashboard right here. Now, it's going to ask you for your API key, which is why I told you to save it. You're gonna simply go ahead and copy that API key and paste it in in order to access your dashboard. Now we need to go ahead and set up a collection. To do this, we're gonna click on console, we're gonna delete everything that's in here, and we're gonna paste in this code, which is available for free in the school community down below. We're then gonna go ahead and click on run. And as you can see, everything has been set up correctly. I have called the collection example knowledge base. However, you can call this whatever you want. So I'm gonna call it N8N tutorial, and I'm gonna run it again which is going to create a second collection. If we now go ahead and navigate to collections, you can see that we have example knowledge base, which is the first test that we set up. And we have N8N tutorial, which is the one that we're actually going to use. Now that we have this set up, we're gonna go back into N8N, make sure you click save, and we're gonna go back into both of the nodes. We're gonna go to this one, and we're gonna select the specific collection that we just set up, which is N8N tutorial. And we're gonna go to the bottom one, which is the one that we're gonna to use to insert the documents, 
and we're also going to select NA10 tutorial. Now, in order to ups upsert all of this, all you need to do is go to edit fields, add in whatever knowledge you want to add, and simply go ahead and click on the quadrant vector store and click on test step. Now it actually executed this. It took all of the fields, which we have from the previous node, and it inserted it into the knowledge base. If we now go back to Quadrant and click on this specific collection, you can see that the knowledge was actually added in here. Now, if we want to add additional knowledge, we would simply go ahead and click on Edit Fields. We would edit the knowledge that we have in here, and we would simply go ahead and test the step again to add additional information. Now, in order to test this, I'm actually gonna replace this node right here, and I'm gonna make it a simple chat trigger node. We're going to take this chat trigger node and we're going to hook it up to the AI agent. You can also remove the respond to webhook node. And now we're going to be able to test it. So we're actually going to test one of these questions. So we're going to ask how long is the consultation? Now, in order to test this, we're simply going to go ahead and click on open chat. And we're going to ask the question, how long is the consultation? Now, as you can see, it's going to actually trigger the quadrant vector store. And it provided us the answer saying the consultation typically lasts 15 to 20 minutes, which is exactly what it says inside of the knowledge base. You can also click here on the logs and go to quadrant vector store and see that we had this query and we got this response from the knowledge base. And now you have a fully working setup with an N810 AI agent connected to Quadrant for your knowledge base. You can upsert new documents as needed, and you can also go in here and actually edit specific fields. Let's say the time for the consultation changes to five to 10 minutes. You would simply go ahead and save this information, confirm the change, go back into N810, clear out the chat, and ask the same question again. How long is the consultation? It will now run the same nodes, but it's going to provide us a different answer and say it lasts five to 10 minutes because that is what it now says in the knowledge base. And that is it for this video. All the templates mentioned are available for free in our school community. It's the first link in the description. If you have any questions, comment down below and I hope you have a great day.